Hi Deviants of the Dev Nation, it's Devi and welcome back to my channel. Now before we get into this video, I just want to say if you're a regular Deviant here, first of all, thank you so much for your support. <sighs> Every time, honestly, you're so fabulous. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> but you might realize some difference with the way I edit this video and some of the upcoming videos and that's because I'm currently working on changing the style of my videos, you know, working out something new, coming out with new ideas and it's very fun just thinking of new innovative ways to entertain you guys. So until I fully understand that style or what I'm trying to do, I will try to make a video explaining, you know, what inspired this change and all that beautiful stuff. And yeah, but until I get to that, I will be using this, just a more simple version, a simple style. I'm going to call it the transition style. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and stick around, you know what I mean? Let's talk our tune, shall we? Today we're talking about Steven Universe. And why are they always flipping, redeeming their villains? What is this? We have Lapis redeemed, Jasper now redeemed, Paradot redeemed, Blue, White, yellow redeemed <laughs> like all the villains that we've met so far in steven universe have basically been redeemed i realized though what rebecca sugar is probably trying to do you know what i mean because think about it from when we were younger we've been used to violence and cartoons and yes i understand it you know it makes us excited and it adds a little bit of mm, a little bit of you know i can't it can't be explained in words <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of excitement to your scene and hating someone you know it feels good to want to hate them but recently i don't know if it's with you guys but it started not even recently but when i was watching avatar the last airbender before it ended was when i realized a kind of like a shift in me and wanting the villains to win <laughs> every time i would see azula I'm like, why do I secretly want Azula to kick Aang's butt in the scene? You know what I mean? I wish that she got some some type of redemption or something. Something good to happen to her basically is what I really wanted. And as time goes on, I realize my love that I've been developing for villains. I'm loving the villains a lot. Even the, and if you tell anyone I said this, I will deny it. But even Hawkmoth from Miraculous Ladybug, I do kind of enjoy his character. Sue me, okay? What? I'm not mad. But it's that dynamic that is kind of switching. And it's not just me. You'll find a lot of people who are really into the villains. Heck, you might be into the villains. Don't lie to me. You might be into the villains sometimes too. You know what I mean? What I think Rebecca Sugar is trying to do here, right? I think she's trying to change the conversation. She's trying to be like, why do villains always have to be bad? There's never someone in the world that is 100% bad. No matter how many things they've done, I don't think in my mind that there's anyone who's ever 100% bad. Just like I don't think there's anyone who's 100% good. There's a mixture of both. And if you can find the beauty in someone, then why not just set it free? or try your best to set it free and really see them evolve and change as a person. You know what I mean? I think that's what Will Becky Sugar is trying to do. Change the conversation, change the topic. And I don't know about you, but there's this YouTuber here named Shane Dawson. You know, a, little, a small YouTuber, you probably don't even know about him. But he released a, a conspiracy theory video that was over one hour long and I sat and I watched it all the way through. In this video, he was talking about cartoons and how they portray certain... Um, things <laughs> that kind of seem subliminal in the cartoons and i'm like wow like that's not really the cutest thing to see in cartoons and people we've been accepting this for a long time not even caring so i'm like maybe rebecca sugar is trying to change the conversation why does everybody have to be bad you know and i think it's a cute thing i think it works because i don't know if it is it but when I started watching um, Steven Universe, I wasn't as forgiving as I, I, am, I, I am today, you know what I mean? So who knows, Steven Universe could have a part to play in it. Steven Universe does have a huge part to play in my life. There are certain topics and certain lessons that they teach that I do hold on to. What pork chops, we wouldn't have hot dog, you know, and little things like that. Is that how, it's, how it goes if the world didn't have pork chops? If the... Let me know down in the comment section because I'm I'm really confused at that one. But yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is cartoons have been feeding us bad villains, you know, villains for us to hate, making villains one-sided for a long time. 
and I'm excited to see this new side of storytelling where people are telling different sides of the villains because it changed your mind while I watched White Diamond become redeemed and stuff it was so excited for me and that's because they built her up as a villain one-sided and then now they're showing her other side and it makes me happy and I'm intrigued to see other stories follow in this footstep and I hope they do do it you cowards <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you think about it. Do you think that it's a weak? Do you think it's not inspired? Do you think it's lazy? Like, what do you think about this type of storytelling? Let me know down in the comment section below because I will be going down there to check it all out, all right? So this was just a quick little discussion. I want to thank you guys for listening. Remember to subscribe and drop a like if you haven't already. Stay positive. Change the world for the better. And do not let it change you for the worse. Go around and watch my other videos because this is the end of this video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching my video today. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. I upload videos all the time on this channel, so if you don't want to miss my next video, be sure to subscribe. And speaking of videos, did you watch my last video? If not, don't worry, I got you, fam. It's right here. Just go ahead and click on it, watch the video, like and subscribe, why not? See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>